Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Gamer. And I'm the Antagonist Voice, and we're back playing Suzerain. Right, so let's uh, just pick up where we left off, I think. So, uh, going right into it, we are here on the budget allocation of the Swordish Armed Forces. Now, I think we've increased their overall budget, so... Um, we did do that because we were worried about our border security, yeah. um, and I think that is something that is still like going Pressing. on in the background. Like, didn't really happen much during the last couple of episodes, but it hasn't been resolved either. Yeah, so let's see. Right. Yeah, Josef, there's our, Josef. Our walrus. I'm not his biggest fan, but... I, honestly, I like him more than Valkyne. He's, he's a little bit more... He's sensible, at least, sometimes. And then, of course, we've got Peter. Um, and that should be it. So, let's go on, then. We've prepared a briefing to convey further details. First off, we received an update from the Occasion Military Command. Planes are being moved into the airbase as we speak. That's yeah, the yeah, we did agree to that. Yeah, yeah that, that did happen, I yeah. remember. And our supervision. So, I would say let's uh, make them feel at home. I would go for number two. I mean, that's not, it's not their home. We do want to keep an sure. eye. I mean, an eye is not, it's not like an enemy's eye, but just, <laughs> just, we do want to know what they're doing there. So, uh, let's hear about our army. I'm guessing we can ask about all of them. Six armies, 400,000 active troops. Good amount. Quality, not is quantity. The yeah. So, what's the equipment status then? Outdated. Two decades old. Yeah, that does sound old. Large number of soldiers, not a long-term solution. That's true. Ah, he doesn't want... So Valkin does not want um, modernization program, but standardization of equipment. Or standardized purchasing. That has... Standardized purchasing, that's the... That's the it sounds horrible, actually. <laughs> it's the so it's like, like, you know, no matter what you need, this is what you get. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, it's a standardized purchasing procedure, and that's like every military wants them, and they never achieve good goals. But oh well, uh, more funding towards expanding the size. Okay, he wants. He doesn't. He wants quantity, not yeah. quality. <laughs> okay, so see, I do like yourself more, or I tend to at least. Um, so how do we compare to others, I guess? Rumbeck, six armies, a million soldiers, so two and a half times ours. Lesbia, that's the capitalists to our south, 800,000. about 000. the same size? Well, no, how much do we have? One. 400, so yeah. Oh, okay. I thought 600. Maybe. <laughs> I, th I think six armies, 400,000 then. That's possible. So... Foxen's very small. Yeah. I think Foxland has a bigger navy though. Vinland and Agnolia we can basically ignore. Well, but they are one. ally, so it's at least Agnolia is Vinland not. But yeah, Agnolia. And not formally yet, but I mean, six. It would put us at six hundred thousand, so at least we could stand up to Romberg to some extent. Forced conscription. Ooh, ah, I see. I see. Lesbian armies is the most advanced. Yeah, I would love to be allied to, to Lesbia because then we would actually exceed Romberg's forces. They put a lot of money into it. Yeah. Okay, so where we are at, it's the, so it's the on borders. So Lesbia and Velen. The second army is our strongest, yeah, our strongest forces to Rumberg. the Romberg border. That, that makes sounds sense. sounds reasonable. I mean, I would love to pull off these guys from Lesbia at least. Yeah, Large they are the mount. best equipped. Oh, interesting. Lot mountain commander force. I think it's a mountainous area. I think it came up at some point. That Did it's it? Yeah, the, yeah the border is a mountainous area. I remember we had a meeting in that uh, in that uh, province in the mm -hmm. capital, and it seemed like a mountain mountain place. So. I, yeah, something was was there about yeah. that. Well, um, and then we've got the third army, Agnolia and coastal areas. Interesting. Bitter past coastal defense walls. <laughs> The decimation of our fleet is still not forgotten. Okay, let's hear I'm about the other I'm not sure, like a coastal defense force is much use right now. Well, but I, it's it's hard because I think we have to defend to all sides. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. It's not much use if if there was something happening there seriously. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> well, 
Let's see about our navy. 60 ships, 60,000 sailors. That seems like a lot of sailors per ship. Oh well, you don't know. It's probably also coastal sailors staff. Sailors and support staff. Yeah, well, don't know how big these ships are. Difficult mm. to say, yeah. Coniant Wells, the flagship, the Swedish Navy Renan is stocked. Okay, how do we compare to others then? Foxland has a lot. Yeah, it's interesting. They've got a very small army, and yeah. there was like only 140,000. But on the other but hand, they are across the, na <laughs> the sea from they've us. They've got ships. Yeah. And Agnolia has got a relatively large yeah. um, navy I mean, combined. as well. Com Compared compared to us and also compared to their yeah their but combined we would we would sort of stand up to that not quite but well um, but we seriously we don't want to fight Foxland no. not over some Helgi land <laughs> island dispute seriously no Lesbia not. has less ships than us though so that's nice the situation is dire but the solution is not just more ships better navy modern radar and sonar yes um where do we stand then. Martin, Martin Gray, Street, Gray Street. Street. I think that's where the uh, uh, where Hel Helgiland is. Yeah. The others, I don't know. Couple I think the regions. Martin Sea is just the general the sea between Falkland and us. Yeah. The Gray Street is there towards the north. Uh, yeah. And the other one, I don't know. I think there, there's like a the south, maybe. there's like a small area that that could be um, the amount of cargo. Yeah. It's so it's like the, a little bit like the Persian Gulf or something. Yep, yep, yeah, we know about that. Well, with 60 ships, I don't think we have a lot of uh, power projection. Yeah. Yeah, near region. Near region, we're limited to that. <laughs> International operations. That's. Uh, Joseph, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I don't see that happening anytime in a, soon. In, in a generation or two, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he's got ideas about big power and um, ruling the seas, but Not I mean, like, we are. we are struggling to feed our people, you know, the... Oh, I like this this connection here, but <laughs> let's hear about the Air Force then. 400 planes, 140 jet planes. Not in great condition. 30,000 pilots, support staff. Actually much smaller than our Navy, even. Mm. Interesting. So how experienced are they? Average experience? Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, I, they, I don't they think it counts they... as average if you are like <laughs> significantly below everyone else. Well, ev no, it's significantly be lower than those four countries, not everyone else. Who else is there? Wieland, I Wieland, guess. Okay, Rumberg, yeah. True, true. Um, I don't know. Like a funding, fuel <laughs> costs are rather high. Agnolia is not mentioned either. I don't know if they've got planes. Fair enough. Um, okay, so what's our capabilities now? 400 kilometer radius. Semi effective nighttime mm. bombing. Okay, they sound like super average guys. I mean, we've got an average yeah. size, average uh, skilled, average radius. Pretty much. I'm not sure we want to improve Ooh. on that. Ooh. 100 meters effective precision, okay. Um, how do they work together? That might be interesting. Independent tactical support branch. Okay, it, uh, it can assist. It doesn't call operate. Huh, okay. Uh -huh. Charge operation rooms. Hmm. Yeah. No, I don't think there are any other branches. So, content with the additional funds. I would hope you are happy with them, not just content. Hmm. It's for national security, which is threatened by Rumberg and the other nations. The military is a top priority for administration of the sort of people. Uh. I, I would turn to, to the first one. The second one sounds like military is a top priority. That's not true. No. We are just... Re Worried about national security here, and this is this is no. true sons of Swordlands. This I don't is like a bit that. too nationalist. Yeah. Number four, 
the more important thing is we put these funds to good use as a people who need proof of our success in the military. No, no, no. I don't agree no, with no. that either. No, I, I would hope our military never gets a chance to prove itself. Because yeah. Because we are just happy, peaceful people. Yeah. Number one, then, I think. National security is why we have it, so. Rightfully so. There. Surrounded by jackals, well, I'm mostly concerned about one or two of them, not necessarily all the other ones. Yosef sees enemies everywhere. Yeah, we wouldn't expect any less from you. But y yeah, the point is not to use the military on, on our soil, though, unless we are defending against foreign aggression. So, um, yeah, let's uh, hear the suggestions. Yeah, how are questions. we gonna use the increase of the budget? But you know, I like the game for, for you know, going into that level of detail, actually. So, so first option is enlarging the army forces by enlisting more men while the sect factions in favor of purchasing better military equipment instead. Okay, why would should we go for size? Some of our neighbors have larger population and thus a larger army force. Yeah, big surprise there. We minimize the advantage. Numbers, Numbers alone, alone don't determine its strength. Uh, could enlisting mean, could, yeah, minimize the unemployment issue. Yeah, but if we're not employing them not productively, then I'm it not doesn't sure that is a good argument because it doesn't help the economy long term to no. just like pay the money to sit around. Exactly. As as an mm. economist, that's that's a that's a terrible idea because it just enters a rabbit hole where you just not want to go. Um, I'm not so convinced. <laughs> Me neither. Lack of equipment, yeah. Cannot be it without numbers. True, but... So why should we purchase better equipment? Yeah, our neighbors are also better in that. We need to modernize. That sounds bleak. Well, I'm not sure always, but I think it's it's the better way to, to go for quality. If they don't have the equipment, then then we're just betting on our people to die in droves. And I think with a smaller with a smaller population, I don't think that's the way to go. I think we should go for better equipment. Yeah, we will never make up the numbers exactly compared to some countries. I don't think that is that would be the way to go. Three times our force, yeah. Yeah, but also employing more soldiers won't won't mitigate the difference. Exactly, I agree with him. Human wave tactics are over. Okay. Yeah, better equipment. Just better equipment um, and modernized. Yeah, Joseph is happy. That's good. All for oh. today. Peter's also okay. here. Hello, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> no, Peter actually said the thing about the unemployment. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I <laughs> didn't even notice. I thought it was between Valken and Josef all the time. Nope. Okay. Good yeah. work. Yeah. Glad for that input, Peter. <laughs> Which right. we didn't agree with. Right. Okay. Ooh, we've got a new status. I'm guessing on the military. Adequately. Oh, uh, and it's happy. We've got experienced generals, happy military, and adequately equipped. Oh, true. I mean, the experienced generals we always have, but I think this went from red into uh, into yellow, so yeah. there's yeah. that. Ooh, some news item here. Militants arrested, yes. There are a lot of these people, I have to say. Okay, Education reform. Education reform. Progressing slower than expected, okay. Okay, as only few schools will re reduce the hours of... T citizenship, solism, and nationalism subjects. Huh. So the political indoctrination okay. is still there. The apparatus is pushing back. I mean, you can't, you can change the system, but it's hard to change as long as the same people. It's gonna are take in time. It. Ooh, the railway. Ooh, I like Ooh, that. That's, this that's is like our, good. like one of the first things. Like pretty much the first thing yes. we did, and. It's I finally think we, we, coming we, somewhere. We both had our doubts about that. Yeah. Repeatedly. But it seems to be on time. But I'm excited to see what will happen once it's nice. done. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, oh. Ooh, and then we've got the diplomatic items, I think. Briefly look at the news, though. Military level. Yeah, we know that. We discussed it. Oh, contained and satellite, satellite in space. space. So, Sputnik. Oh, well. So. We want to go for Agnolia? Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's check Agnolia, I think. Let's start with the pleasant ones. Yeah. So. 
so one hour I fight. think the game is starting to move more towards diplomatic yeah. relations and I think yeah. actually the chapter is called Stability in Eastern Macopa. Yeah. I, I don't think we ever showed that screen but that's what it's called True. so it's uh, more about the overall region and uh, while our country is still struggling internally as well but we don't worry about that so much now. Yeah, it's, 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 we've, we've been worse let's put it yeah, this way. Yeah we've said that. So we're landing exchanging some pleasantries here with David Oh, Ooh, already Hergeland yeah. is mentioned. <laughs> Barely can sustain itself, okay. I don't know. Uh, it's a very strategic, strategic position, position, it yeah. is. Control of the whole channel, yeah. Mr. Von Houten, Von Houten. You remind He looks a little bit like Peter, doesn't he? Hmm. Maybe, not a bit. Oh well. Um, we must be careful. Yes. Nobody wants to make an enemy of Parkland. Well, they are socialist at the end. So, support of United Continuum and CSP. Who's CSP? Contain and security. Oh, pact. so that's the Warsaw oh. Pact sort of thing. Very ugly flag. Yeah. In terms of flags, it's a good design, but it's still ugly. Yeah, the colors don't quite. I think the yellow is a little bit off. Oh. And it's just too many dots. Well, um, so I think this one, right? I don't, I don't care about Falkland that much. They are not. No, me either. But uh, I don't really think it's a good idea to like antagonize them too much right now. Yeah, but, but if Ignolia doesn't antagonize them, we would stand with them, I guess. Yeah, let's let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Try to look at the bigger picture. We be careful with the additional requests. They want to sell us their steel for a higher price and are requesting easy access to our agricultural market. In return, they're promising cash flow and investments in the Agnoland region. Okay, fair enough. Lots of immigrants. Uh, Immigration. Yeah. Oh, that's good fact that we have relaxed or at least kept them relaxed uh, will help tremendously let's see if okay, we can let's, shake let's see let's see what what actually comes up when we're talking to them starport okay. of i think steel is the topic here <laughs> yeah yeah oh oh no. it means cattle no. <laughs> <laughs> well that is a no. false friend right there it sounds a little bit like I, it, it sounds pretty dutch doesn't it Touchdown, plane landed, parked, yes, 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 carpet. <laughs> yeah, hi Let's there. Camera we're flashes. We're here friendly. We, we want to get into their newspapers. Von Horten. Oh, he's oh. not inside. Instead, the foreign minister and Serge. That's lovely. Hi, Serge. Why are you here? Did we fly <laughs> there and you drove up to pick us up? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Waiting. Good day. Yes, whatever. How did you get here, Sarge? <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe you took a, a ship. Yes. <laughs> Driving the highway, dockyards, ships anchored. Looked old. Okay, interesting. Grey and grim. Yeah, it's like a socialist grey and grim, I guess. Well, or just just steel city type of. Yeah, sort of a big amount of fog and Ooh, steam. Looks like they're not too happy to see you. Crowd gathered. Was in protest. Sordon must, must pay its debt. What debt do we have? Hmm. Well, yeah. I wonder <laughs> what propaganda the state is feeding them, maybe? Because I'm just. I just want to ask, like, why? They're afraid, they're scared that Sorna will reach they its They don't potential. want you to be seen as the great hero you are. Not, oh, well. don't want to be seen as a great hero. No, Sarge, we do not. Just just a decent leader would be fine. Okay, uh, let's let's just uh, see. I guess there's a lot of uh, waiting. Here's the PM. Oh, he's shorter than we thought. Interesting. Beautiful city of Starport. Um, yeah, just be nice. Anything. 
Ooh, like the Trump move. <laughs> ah. Overpowered. Come on, come on. Let's... Are we going in for a hug? Yeah, let's go in for a hug. Press went wild. Yeah. Great. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I'll present you with a gift. Is it like a... A large glass box. It's single, single parchment. parchment. This is here one of the first treaties written in. Between Sol and Magnolia, made mark the renewal of our friendship today as that's, well. That's a good gift. That's that's a it good is. gift. That's it an is. amazing gift. Yeah, it's nice. Photos were taken. Yes. I mean, great. he he is making an effort, but we are as well. Uh, oh, no. I was I was totally for Poppy <laughs> until I was, <laughs> uh, number uh, one, I guess, right? No, no, just hang on a second. Why should we treat uh, give him a first constitution of Swordland? What's got he got to do with it? Well, firstly, I think number two here is it's just a no-go because no, no, no. Number number two's uh, out of the question. Stupid that's, powers. That's not. That just stupid. And the, the other one, like sword, steel. Are we just like? I mean, that sounds like militaristic aggressive. This I'm not sure you're, you're supposed. To, I mean, you're not supposed to gift knives, so I'm not sure about the exactly. what the etiquette is about gifting swords and and steel. And I mean, they are city of steel and sword of steel. It's, 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 it and it's a bit weird. But why one? why would we give them the, our our constitution? It's like here, these are the rules made for our people. Yeah, but oh. we, are, we are deeply we are deeply connected, and I think it shows that you know we trust them enough. With an important document of ours. It's the diplomatic well, move. Yeah, it is. It so, is. Yeah, and it's, worth, it, it's better than the two other worlds. It is. I, I'm not completely convinced about it, but it is better than the other. So, so let's yeah. roll with it. An excellent copy. Yeah, we've got the best <laughs> machines, Martin. Excellent gift. Okay. Okay, he liked that. That's good. I Did you see the... There was, by the way, an excellent. Um, some, sometimes diplomatic gifts are excellent. I, I remember there being a, a gift between Russia and and the U.S. and the Russian gift was pretty good. And I think Bill Clinton gave back a DVD, or Barack Obama gave back a DVD collection. So it was just like really. Why okay. would you? Why would you? Oh well. So room. Yes, make yourself comfortable. Thankfully done with the... I don't care. He thinks it's a waste of time. Uh, yeah, just water. I mean... Can't you control them? That's a bit no, hard. No, 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 no. Well, straight to business. Yeah. We've been watching the recent changes to immigration. Glad that you decided to keep it relaxed. That's good. Immigrants are important. Yes, we agree. Reassuring to see in a modern direction. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. We, we know <laughs> we haven't been modern. I mean, seriously. Is Are we a reliable uh, trading partner? As long as you are, I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, we're not gonna step down from our promises or anything, but we expect the same. Really be beneficial for both of us, yes. You should be able to solve your recession in no time with investment money flow coming from us. This is, as you know, on top of the reduced tariffs for trade in between our countries. I like to hear that. That's a good idea. Of course, in return, as discussed between my people and your people, you will allow us privileged access to your agricultural market. But how important is our agricultural market to us? And we will be buying steel for a higher price. I mean, our railway is pretty much done, so I don't care about the steel <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> no, we do, do probably still need steel. <laughs> yes. Uh, I wonder if he will start negotiating if he don't. Let's, let's negotiate. I mean, we, mm. we must do something to negotiate. Yeah, with. yeah. Number two or three, then? Three? 
Yeah, go for number three. It's not a beneficial deal. I can't agree to the higher prices. prices yeah. yeah, I agree to the rest. Unfair advantage. We can no longer accept that. Our people believe. Beneficial trade. Um, Is there no room for discussion? Yes. We don't want to lose our cooperation with Sortland. Maybe I can agree with the old prices. I will offer an alternative for the sake of our history together. As you know, Hedgeland has uh -huh. long been contested between Agnolia and Fox, and the international community does not recognize a right to claim. Including Sortland. <laughs> Would it be good that Sortland finally announced the recognition of Hedgeland as Agnolian territory? If you do that, we'll have a deal. Huh. Okay, so it's either buy our steel for over, like our overpriced steel, or say we recognize the island and have Fox and which we, as I said, don't want. We won't want to antagonize them, but at the same time, we are not the socialist country we won't be on their side ever anyway exactly i don't i don't think we want to antagonize them for no reason but between these two i think we are much closer to agnolia they are they are sort of our brother nation we are aligned in our defense of romberg um we certainly do care about the economy which is at one bar exactly at the moment so i don't want to necessarily pay high steel prices so maybe i think yeah Shall we recognize the islands yeah. as theirs? Yeah. I'm not sure whether it's the rightful thing to do, but I think it's the opportunistic thing to do. So, another possibility. Aha. Uh -huh. Partnership, falls like Grunberg, imposing danger. I'm a offering military, military alliance. alliance. Okay, yeah. I do want that. I, I do want that even though you have, like, you have a palfrey 100,000 force, but... I think it's in our interest to defend them as well, because otherwise... Yeah, let's go for it. Great. Okay. Yeah. Special program. So... Found his Another grave. ceremony. Yeah, it's, yeah, let's go for it. After you yeah, just do yeah. that. Fake smiles, uh, handshakes, handshakes. <laughs> ceremonies, longer meetings, mm. blah, blah, blah. Let's be silent. Yeah. You are relieved. Okay. Good news. Good news then. I like that. Ooh, I'm excited. Ooh, and country overview updated. So we've got a military alliance. Cheapest steel price. That's a good thing for us. They've got priority oh. to our agricultural market. I guess that's fine. And economy. Recover trade volume. Good, good, good. I like that. These are good news after all. So that is nice. Quickly look at the news. Radicals. Hmm. Darkness descends. Oh, what is that about? Oh, oh we've got a journalist. A journalist arrested. was arrested. Member of the socialist unions. Hmm. Well, 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 he was one of their journalists, so they wouldn't be too impressed. But if he was part of the radicals, then, then it just it got it coming, maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, he did. We should crack down on the entire journalist. No. Agnolia, yes. Top reporters, historic development. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the outcome, I think. Increase in trade volumes, that's good. Particularly in steel, that's also good. I like that. We recognize it in Helgeland. With a surprising move. Yeah, it was a bit surprising for us as well. <laughs> <laughs> New alliance, yeah, we know about that. And... Eagle. Yeah, Foxland Hegel uh, said von Horten is playing, playing with, with fire. fire. It's unlawful occupation of the island. Let's just okay. check that. That's over here. That's the overall sea. That's the one straight. That's the Volgus Channel. And then uh, I think That's down Gray here, Street. Gray yeah. Street is the other one. And down here is the other sea. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little bit worried about that over here because we do not have enough ships. To really um, protect against our Foxland should they try to block our trade. But we worry about oops. that once we get there. Riot is arrested. Yeah, okay. It's fine. 
Okay. I've got the visit down there coming up, but I think that's gonna have to wait until next yeah. time. So I'm now, excited about that. Me too, actually. It's, it's, Let's see it's how moving that, up. So how that's coming along then. So that being said, thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye.